Guys, I'm going to play a video here, and you just hear the cop, and, and disregard the crowd, because I'm going to explain that in just a minute. Why the crowd, um, and this is from a psychologist's point of view, okay? I never thought I'd use this in anything. Um, but I want you to listen to what this cop says to the crowd. R regardless of how you stand on Ferguson, just listen to this. Alright, I'm going to stop it right there. Did you see the cop? He's got his gun pointed in every direction. And he said, fuck you, I'm going to kill you. Step back, step back. I'll play that one more time. You see this cop? And if, everybody who knows gun safety knows, first of all, this is not how a cop should be going around. So let's start this again. You heard what the cop said, and he's walking around with his gun raised. Um, I had to go and find the Ferguson Police Department and the phone number. It's 314-522-3100. That's a non-emergency number. And this is what I'm going to say. This is, um, I, I was a teacher, and I also have a degree in psychology. Regardless of how you think the crowd is acting, that's kind of been an indoctrinated, um, uh, policy and let me tell you why in the 60s they had their shit together um, for the most part they did meetings beforehand and, and knew how things were going to play out but the government got wise to that and started putting in um, uh, what do you, provocateurs and stuff and and that's kind of why the 60s kind of went to shit but these people need to start meeting with everybody and have a plan, their own agenda on how they're going to take this on instead of just walking around the streets. I'm not blaming the protesters because this is a new situation for them, but there is a way to go about this right. Number two, all right, so they, they've got us all in chaos, and this is on purpose because they like to do this so the police will look like heroes or the government will look like heroes or the authoritative person will look like the heroes. And, and this is a psychology stance I'm, I'm putting out there. They like to um, create this, like I said, so they look good. The purpose they want to look good is so more money comes to them. That is the whole, that's what it boils down to, everything. Money and control. Always has, always will. Um, or I, can I medicate you? That, that was the biggest deal when I was going through school is how can we label someone to medicate them to make money for big pharma? There's a codex you follow. So I'm going to get off of that now and tell you um, there's things that can be done. Number one, regardless of that uh, act of 1871, 1891, or 1871, or whatever, um, America's principal fathers, to the Treaty of Paris, they were already in debt, so there was already deals made where you were um, cattle. They just finally let you know about it in that year. Um, if you read the four, forefathers, um, and I don't even know why they call them forefathers. There was more than four. Um, when you read the founding fathers, so forth, founding fathers, whatever that means also, um, letters and so forth, you'll find out that um, they were in it to make money too. Let's get, give an example real quick of the Boston Tea Party. They dressed up as Mohawk Indians, so in case they got caught, they weren't be to blame. They were kind of cowards. You think about this. They got everybody to dress up as Mohawk Indians and throw tea over a boat. But if they were to get caught, they did not want to be blamed. They were going to blame it on someone else. In a way, that would be called a false flag um, if they would have got caught. Of course, it worked for them in a way. Or was it planned? Um, who knows? But the Mohawks would have died uh, in that case, and they didn't, thank goodness, enough indigenous people died 
Um, I mean, we 95% um, of the indigenous people in North America died because of this. You got 5% of us left. Okay, here's what you can do. They're your employees, these policemen are. So is the mayor, so is the governor, so is the National Guard. If you pay any kind of tax, tax anywhere in Missouri, these are your employees. You are the employer. If you don't like what's happening, you have to make a stand. If it's by calling this number and saying, we are withholding taxes. We did not give our in implied consent. No one consulted us about what was going to happen. Murders from the East Coast to the West Coast to the North to the South have got out of hand by police. The police have taken on and they change the color of their uniform. They cover their heart with a star. Um, just like when you cover your hand saying the Pledge of Allegiance, you're, you're shielding your heart from love. That's a taboo thing. You never shield your heart. Police have always got their heart shielded. Um, that's that's um, a subliminal way of saying, um, I have no feelings towards you. So I, and it's also a way of, um, in that, just that uniform they wear is I'm better than you. A rogue cop walking around pointing guns at everybody. Now we have all been, you know, taught about gun safety. That's just a no, no. So really quick, I'm going to call the number. I will do this live because I'm concerned about children now. If this cop will do this in this situation, which they should have training for this, and the training should go for the people, not against them. Thank you for calling the City of Ferguson Police Department. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For a dial by name directory, press 411. For the operator, press zero. For dispatch, press one. Please hold while I try that extension. I imagine they're overwhelmed. I say overwhelm them more. Pressing zero. Please hold while I try that extension. Ferguson Police. Um, yeah, I just watched a video online and and then just for quality assurance, uh, you're being recorded as I probably am too. And the policeman was walking around last night with his gun pointed at everybody saying, I'm going to effing kill you. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Um, it's pretty disturbing. Um, and, and I think I know what's going on there and I know things are chaotic, but really I think you need to, someone needs to take a little hold of the police walking around pointing guns at everybody saying, I'm effing going to kill you. Were you aware of that video being online? Well, we are not, we're not looking at any media outlets, especially anything online. Wow, maybe you should because that's where it's being seen. And Well, we have too much going on right now. We're trying to make sure that our citizens are safe. And so we don't have time to sit and look online and look at different videos that people are uploading because we're not responsible for it. And we don't know the source of it. So there's no way to guarantee that that's really, you know... Oh, it was a real, I'm over 50, ma'am, and that was a real policeman pointing his gun. We got a lot of crime going along, going on in the city of St. Louis as a whole, so everything 
they want to say it's Ferguson, it's Ferguson, it's Ferguson. Well, our officers are not out there. It's under state highway patrol and a National Guard. So okay. anything they do, we cannot give an answer to because they're above us. Well, when, when a policeman says, or someone dressed as an officer representing you says, I'm going to effing kill you, and he's pointed at the crowd, I'd be concerned. So, being that they are employees of the citizens of the United States, I think it's time all you guys are fired. Thank you. Now, I'm not going to sit and tolerate that bullshit, and I think every one of you should make that same phone call and say, I think you all should be fired. You, they are our employees. I did it. You can do it. Go for it. Let's see what happens. Love all of you. Remember, if you're not helping humanity, you're hurting it. And obviously, this policeman's rogue, and he's went a little crazy. So uh, I think it's time we uh, do something. Um, and, you know, if you live near St. Louis and stuff, get together if you're older and teach these younger people how they should respond during some of these things because in the in the 60s and 70s uh, before things got co-opted we knew what to do the indoctrination is set in but I see people trying to break away I'm not blaming the youth I don't believe in the looting and stuff and you can stop that too um, the community seems to have that under control what you need to do is take on your employees they're out of hand they're rogue they believe that they can do you. You saw how she talked to me. Um, that's not how any of my employees, if I had a business, would talk to me. And uh, there you go, Missouri. And we stand with you. I just want you to know that. Um, I've called many a times here in Washington State over the police. Um, you don't really want the federal government involved because they don't do nothing but give the officer a pat on the back and he gets moved to another area. You need to take this yourself and move this. Um, whichever way you want, because I don't know. There's been mixed stories. I don't know who was to blame here, but I do see the outcome, and the outcome is your employees are acting out. Get them under control. We stand with you. Uh, this is Linda Littlebear, and I'm out.